Well, I was in the middle of replacing the interior LEDs in my trailblazer, and I must have crossed the streams or something because they stopped working altogether. So they're on. I'm definitely turning them on. We've got nothing but the map lights work. So that's weird. So I'm at the driver's side rear seat. I'm gonna flip this guy over. Squeeze these tabs, pop him off. So if you look at the diagram on the cover, none of these fuses say interior lights. How fucking convenient. The fuse that I wanna check is the one labeled TBC3. And it's this fuse all the way at the end, right here. Back at the rear fuse box here, we can conveniently hook up the power probe, positive and negative. We can touch one side of the fuse. We have power, touch the other side, no power. We can also take our El Cheapo multimeter. We can take the black lead of the meter, put it on this seat belt bolt. So we'll touch this part of the fuse with the red lead from the meter. We've got battery voltage. We'll go to the other one. There's nothing there. Of course, we could have just took our pliers, pulled him out, and gave him a visual inspection. Twelve volts. Twelve volts. And the interior lights are working again. So everything's back up and working. We'll go ahead and put this back together. In case you guys are just joining me, all of this is lighting modifications that I did. I got videos showing what was done. This is the daytime running light killer. This is the auto fog mod. Got some crossovers here for the rear components. The stuff was installed years ago. It's still working. The stuff that you find here on this channel, it's built for the long haul. Okay, so I'm on page 5-92 of the owner's manual. Here's a picture of the rear fuse box. This is the fuse we were looking at. Fuse number four, TBC3. What does that mean? We'll go over to fuse number four. Oh, truck body controller three. Well, it should be pretty obvious that means it's for the fucking interior lights. I wish somebody would tell me why the fuck do they make shit like this? Was doing this shit necessary? TBC3 for the fucking interior lights? How about writing these fucking manuals so regular people who might need to replace a fuse can understand what the fuck that means. I only knew that was the fuse because I'm pretty well versed in these trucks right here, you know what I mean?